in China and he said, and I sent him a picture and he said, I so wish that this could happen in China. So this is a wonderful moment of democracy as well and freedom of speech. Thank you so much for talking to us. Appreciate it. What are your names, first of all? Catherine. And your last name? Ulrich. Barbara Zelensky. And why are you guys here today? We're here because this is the most important uh, issue for our entire country, our country and our whole world. So we're hoping someone will listen to us uh, because we're running out of time. And it's, yeah, it's really important to us and to everyone. No, it's the single most important existential issue for us today and for our children. It's coming faster than anyone anticipated, so I think that people who are my age, parents, grandparents, we didn't think that our children or grandchildren would be affected, but the more we see, the faster it's accelerating, we know that there's something that has to be done now, immediately. And there's an upcoming election. Do you think this will be an issue I think so. I think because I read this morning that 37% of the electorate is millennial and Gen Z, and that's a significant part of the electorate, and they're registering to vote, and they're getting active like this, and they give me hope. There's hope. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you. We're to find some more people to talk to Washington Latin too? Yeah. And what are your names? Aiden Olson. And I'm Charlotte Cassettia. And why did you guys want to skip school to be here today? Well, it felt way more important than just being here. I think us go to every day. This is our whole world we need to connect in. We can't, if we don't save our planet, then we're not going to be in school anyway, so we should skip school to save it. And were you guys inspired by Greta Thunberg or what? Yeah, and along with like the other kids in my school, because they are like, we have to go to this, and they were, kept pushing for us to go. So then our teachers allowed us to go. And I was very inspired by Alexandra Ocasio Cortez. And why is that? She's just, I don't know, she's just amazing. Like all the work she's done for us. Yes. <laughs> and, and you've read her Green New Deal. Yes. We read it that, uh, last year for our science class. And so what aspects of that do you guys like? Um, I like how um, she says we need 100% um, renewable energy for our whole uh, country. Do your job! Um, do your job! Just everything. Do your job! We have to have clean air or else our world are going to clean up for us. Do your job! 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 Very, very close in front of the Capitol building now. We've been speaking to all sorts of students. Vote them out. All very inspired down here. Vote them out. It is Vote them out. quite something Vote them to feel. Out. Vote them 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 out. Oh, wait, wait, yo, it's get up.
reference to the lyrics of the of All Star from Shrek One. Yeah. Yeah. And why did you guys want to take part in today's rally? Um, if, if the adults are going to do something, we have to. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's where we are. Yeah. And you guys are DC students? Yes. Yeah. Same school, same grade. Yeah. We're in, same, we're in seventh grade. Uh, yeah. And what is your school? Uh, DCI. Yeah. And what do your teachers think about you guys being here, do you think? Um, I'm pretty sure they're lucky, they're feeling very lucky that they have a day off. Yeah, yeah they're, fi they're fine with that. There's yeah. a absolute form to fill out to, yeah, it's, like, they allow us to go here. Like, yeah. there's a form specifically for this. And what about your parents? Did they let you come down here? Yeah, I probably wouldn't have been able to if they didn't say yes. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to if they didn't say yes. And what, do, what does it feel like right now? Um, dehydrated, hot, but uh, good overall. Uh, and have you been to many rallies before? Uh, the last one I went to was the Women's March when uh, Donald Trump first became president. Uh, so no. But why did you um, choose this one? It's kids. It's all kids. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Our future. Paul Kaplowitz. And you're a local? I live in Alexandria. And why did you want to come down here and take part in this rally today? Well, I think it's really important to support the kids who are organizing this protest to see if we can get uh, the government to finally take action on an issue that's going to define not just our generation, but the generation of our children and grandchildren. And are you surprised by today's turnout? No, uh, it's been stated on the media that this is going to be one of the largest climate demonstrations ever. So I wanted to make sure that I was here to support this cause. And what does it feel like here? We're among so many young people right now. Yeah, I feel a lot of energy. Uh, I think the question really is, you know, will big crowds be enough to change any minds? I mean, the Democrats are ready to go, and the Republicans are in the pocket of, you know, the people who benefit from, you know, fossil fuels. So I think until we have another election, I think right now there's only so much we can do to change the course. But uh, maybe, you know... I keep saying that this is all a hoax, but it, if it's a hoax, a whole lot of people uh, are believing in it. And, uh, and what do you think about these crowds? That, that all we can see is that it just keeps on going and going and going. I think it's great. I, I know that many different uh, organizations are co
What is your name? My name is Kyra. And your last name? What? And why are you down here today? Um, well, currently I'm spending thousands of dollars to go to college right now for a career that in the future I might not have if we don't do something about climate change right now. There's laws that have already been drafted, but um, our politicians just aren't doing anything about them. They're not taking our suggestions and they're not taking any form of action and in my opinion it's irresponsible and if they actually care about the future generations they would do something and that's why. And can you show us your sign and what you've written here? Yes, um, so this one says you can't climb over climate change. I think Donald Trump's a very relative, relative, rele oh, relevant um, figure right now and then this one is burn sage not trees. Sage brings a lot of good vibes, and that's what I'm hoping to bring here. And are you a local student here in Washington, D.C.? I am not a local student here. I go to Mary Baldwin University in San Diego. Sorry, where is that? Uh, Stan, Virginia. All right, and so you came here today specifically to take part? Yes, I did. And so it's important? Yes, very important. Thank you so much.
Do you have any headphones? I, like, I, I don't know how I don't have headphones. Like, just where I left, I must have dropped them or something. Hey, okay, Sarah does not have Hold on. Chris is calling. Okay, hold on. Chris. Do you guys mind taking your sunglasses off? It's just so much better to see your eyes. Oh, I'll like one. Yeah. Yes, we're going to do a live interview on television. And yeah. now. <laughs> do you want to just stand over here and be close at hand? And I guess I'll wrap up with. So I'm going to definitely reference the crowd, but it's still, and there's still marchers coming to them. Mic check, mic check. Check, 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 can you hear me? What's your name? That's Buffington, John Buffington. What's your name? Yastin. Yastin. Half Turkish. Oh, nice. I have a friend who's Turkish as well. Her name is Belise, very Turkish name. Hey Heather, um, Sarah can't hear you. What are you saying? Heather, 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 Heather. Yes, I can hear you. Make an obvious toss to Evan. Okay. 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 I mean, should we be facing that? It's the sun, it's not going to okay. work. We'll turn around. Okay. So where are you guys from? Virginia. Leesburg, and what, how old are you guys? 18. Okay, 18. Um, yeah, uh, so are you guys seniors? Yeah. Okay. Two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Two minutes away. <laughs> now we have all the time in the world. Well, we were doing Facebook. We're a, we're a little busy looking at our, too busy Pardon? to look at our watches, guys. So, you're so I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna ask you guys both questions. What was your first name again? John. John Buffington. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, so I'm gonna ask you guys Yasemin. questions and Yasemin. 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 Yeah. It's like, kind of like Jasmine. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful name. And where are you guys from? DC. DC. Yeah. What school? She goes to Washington International. Washington International. Cool. I have a friend whose daughters are also there. Oh, which group? Uh, no, her daughter's names are uh, Sam and uh, others. I'm just blanking on her other daughter's names. Sam? Do you know anybody named Sam? I think they are a bit older. I think they're middle school. Are they into Darren? That's, Sorry? That's the upper school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fifth grade, yay, all right. What are your names? Sarah. Sarah? Sierra. Sarah, Emily, and Sierra. I don't know if I'll be able to remember. <laughs> I'll try. It's not hard, but... <laughs> and this is, I don't know who Sean, Leo, Michael, and Ryan are referencing, unfortunately. I am just that old. Yeah. Yeah. We already okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I get it, I get it now. All right. I thought it might be a band or something. I didn't look at the faces closely. Okay.
Thank you guys, appreciate it. Yeah, so the march has just finished. We started over at John Marshall Park near the Canadian Embassy. And as you can see, thousands of students are now taking over the lawn of the Capitol building. With me here is John Buffington and his fifth grade daughter, Yasemin. Uh, why did you guys want to take the day off school to be here today? We think it's critically important to raise awareness for this issue. It's been 30 years on and nothing really significant has happened. I cared about this issue when I was a kid, and now it's time to worry about my daughter and her generation. And how about you? How does it feel to be here today? Well, I'm really excited. I think this is the second March I'm going to be going to, and I'm also going to the one next Friday. Great. And with me here also, some students from Leesburg. We have Sarah, Emily, and Sierra. Why did you guys want to make the trip out here today? Well, it was really important to me because I feel like today's politicians don't care much about it. Some do, most don't. And if no one else is going to take a stand, then, you know, we're the future generation. We're going to be leading soon enough. We might as well start now. And how does it feel? There are thousands of other young people like yourselves down here. Um, I think it feels really empowering to know that, like, we have a democracy where we're able to speak up and show our voice. And for you, why did you want to be here? I want us to be here because, like Sarah said, a lot of the politicians aren't doing anything, and I can see a lot of changes. Perfect. Well, we are reporting live from the Capitol. Sarah Consmo, WUSA 9. Here. Sorry, I forgot to toss. I just like well, yeah, no, 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 no. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Okay, we we yeah this. Any two-hour Facebook live, they can't expect us to keep an eye on the clock. I forgot to talk. I feel so bad. Getting like a hundred phone calls at once. It's like, guys, I have a well, we, fifty-pound camera on my phone. Is this live right now? I don't even know. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh! Hey, hey! Oh, hello, news. Hi. I don't know if we're still on Facebook. I thought it was like a vegan thing. Call the sign the Yeah. I'll call Chris.
with uh, Heather now, so just uh, yeah. Get in the hall. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Sam standing by? Are we interviewing this? Yeah, we'll do it for the hit. Yeah. Um, okay, I thought we'd go in. Okay, I can offer you. You want to go in? You know what? I'd rather. Can I do you guys, do you wanna? I'm not out. He's out. What? You mean they won't touch me? Over to where the crowd is. Do you mind? Just to. I love it. I'm going to lead us. I'm going to lead us.
event that some people want to hear about tonight. Um, but they want to hear about uh, what young people
Oh my God! Star teaching. I'm the seventh and eighth grade. Seventh and eighth grade. Seventh and eighth grade. Okay, great. And and so it's part of a field trip that you guys are part of today. Yeah, we're studying climate change. And we're studying youth. All right. And and so this is okay. Great. You can. Let's like talk about that. And, sorry, your name is Dan Peterman. Uh, Peterman with a B. Seth. Seth. Okay. Bro, I'm so scared. I'm about to die. Don't tell Ashley to hurt. Can you ask? Bro, like I'm about to do it. Uh, I do I do I need to toss this time? How am I gonna move it? Wait for something. You want me to wait? Check, check, check. Can you hear me? Heather, Heather, hello, hello. Oh, y'all like those things on the news and they be like, they, they be like two screens, right? Oh, hi, Heather. Okay, yeah, I just want to know if you need to toss. You want me to toss this time like last time? Sorry, I forgot the first time. You get a very quick one line toss. Quick one line toss, okay. Okay, and if you guys can just uh, just keep out of this, because we're going to actually, he's going to look back and show everybody the crowds. So if you guys could, or just come on that side, maybe. Where are you, guys? <laughs> Do we have a cue? Yeah, I'll cue. CBS special report. So we might not have one. Okay. We're standing by. CBS special report. Sorry, guys. Hey, everybody up there. Are they like your rivals? No, well, they're they're cutting into our programming. I I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Bro, they're fake. They're probably trying to like see the don't know. <laughs> bro, they're rude. We should go cut into theirs, bro. This is such a crazy day. Wait, that's so rude. That's so rude. Who does that? I'm upset, bro. Oh, that's the song. I think they were supposed to take. I think they were supposed to take a special report throughout the whole moon, but they were late on it. Okay. So, they're taking it so now they're going into it now. CBS. Oh, I, don't I don't even watch them. No way. They. Girl. I watch y'all. I don't watch. Yeah, come and get us up. I mean, what? <laughs> hey, Sean said that he wants this pizza. <laughs> Is it, what is news channel will I be watching? We'll be live if we go on. We might not, we might not go on because um, go they cut into CBS. Go to video yeah, because so Trump rude. has to talk about oh, something. Oh, that's my channel. Oh, my God. Nobody cares about it. We always do something. Like, just get yeah. video. Chelsea. Calm down, Chelsea. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all too close. We'd rather hear from you guys than Trump. We'd rather hear from you guys. Woo! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
You clear. Clear. We're clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll just. Can we just do an interview with you then? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. The, we got we got preempted by we Trump, got unfortunately. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys. So irritating. Later. That is too bad because we were just a few minutes away too. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's too bad. That's totally cool. <laughs> But uh, let's, we can just do a quick interview. Yeah. All right. So, because you, you came up to me, you asked me to talk. What did you want to say? Um, just wanted to say that this, our school is a real, you know, is really big on climate change. So, our teachers and our principal made a, a field trip to take us out here so, you know, we can make the change in the world. So, you know, our planet and all, we won't go extinct. So, yeah, that's why we want to. And, and what did you, what do you hope will change in terms of policy going forward? Uh, I just want, you know, to make an awareness so that people, they know what's going on because some people, you know, uh, a lot of people actually, they don't believe that climate change is a real thing. So we're, me and my school, we're just coming out here to make an awareness that people know that what's going on is wrong. So. Perfect. And what is your name? How do I spell it? Tayshawn, T-A-Y-S-E-A-N. And your last name? Moore, M-O-O-R-E. All right, and Robin, what about you? What do you, what, what would you, why did you want to be part of this rally today? I wanted to be part of this rally today because I know that climate change is a big issue and I want to help address that to everyone. Great. Perfect, and you know, you think it's a big, why do you think it's a big issue? Why do you want that to, to be more widely known? Well, because because of climate change, our corals are bleaching. And because our corals are bleaching, fish are dying. And you no, know, we rely on fish for the main source of protein. And because of that, we may, well, people that live on the coast there, we, they may not have enough. And what does it feel to be part of this rally? Uh, among so many young people. Um, it feels normal. Um, I honestly think that it's just something that everyone here um, is a big part of something. Which uh, it's okay. You can start over again. It's not live. Everyone, <laughs> everyone here who. Everyone that's here is out here because of climate change, and I think that since I think that since they're here, might as well make a big deal out of it. Great. And what is your last name? Um, McNeil. How do I spell it? M C N E I L. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Seth Biederman, S-E-T-H-B-I-D-E-R-M-A-N. And this is part of actually a school field trip. Yeah, we've been studying climate change, we've been studying, studying social change and, and social movements and youth voice. So um, we, we're happy to take kids down here so they can have a field experience. It really is a, a, an experience for them. This, this, can't be a, this is a real opportunity, I guess. Yeah, we're living in D.C., we've got to take advantage of it. Um, we have a, a beautiful, powerful group of kids, and we're trying to teach them that their voice matters. Perfect. That's great. Thank you. We'll just get a few shots of them going to the... Oh, hi. Hi, Jasmine. Jasmine, say hi to the Tails my group. My group.
was like... Never before.